Hi there, welcome to the first video in my series on differentiating inverse hyperbolic functions. And in this one, we're going to be looking at differentiating y equals the inverse shine of x over a, where a is a constant. And it can be shown that dy dx would equal 1 divided by the square root of x squared plus a squared. And just in case you're wondering why it's not going to be plus or minus because the square root, then if you look at the graph of y equals the inverse shine of x, you can see that the gradient is always positive. So dy by dx is always going to be positive. Now, if a is equal to 1, we get the special case. And that is y equals the inverse shine of x gives dy dx equal to 1, all divided by the square root of x squared plus 1. And I would encourage you to try and remember these results because we're obviously going to be using them in further differentiation and also in integration. Now, you might be called upon to prove a result like this. So I'll show you how we do it. If we take what we're given, that is y equals the inverse shine of x divided by a, then what I'm going to do is make x the subject. And I can take the shine to both sides there. So therefore, what we get, shine of y equals x divided by a. Now at this point, there's two ways that I could work out dy by dx. The first method is to make x the subject and work out what dx dy is going to be and then do the reciprocal, get dy dx from that. Or the second method would be to differentiate this with respect to x, which would mean implicit differentiation. And I'll show you both methods. But first of all, what I'm going to do is make x the subject from here by multiplying both sides by a. So therefore we get x equals a shine of y. And so if I differentiate both sides with respect to y, we end up with dx by dy equaling a cosh y. Now we've got to get this in terms of x. And all I know is shine y equals x over a. So I need a connection between shine y and cosh y. And that connection is the identity that you should be familiar with. That is that cosh squared y minus shine squared y is identical to 1. And so if we rearrange this to make cosh y the subject, then we therefore get cosh y would be identical to the square root of shine squared y plus 1. So we've got shine squared y plus 1. Now, shine y we know is x over a, so shine squared y has got to be x squared over a squared. So I can do the square root then of x squared over a squared and then plus the 1. But then to handle something like this, it would be easier to work with this all over a common denominator. So that common denominator is going to be a squared. So on the top here, we're going to have x squared plus a squared. And this is all square rooted. OK. Now I can square root top and bottom when I've got a fraction like this. But because we've got two terms in the top, this is just going to be the square root then of x squared plus a squared. x squared plus a squared there. But the square root of a squared in the denominator is going to be a. So it's this result then that we use. So we'll just border this round here for the time being. OK. So uh, hope that's OK. Now, we know that we've got to do a times cosh y here. So if I multiply a with cosh y, the a's will cancel, just leaving me with the square root there of x squared plus 
a squared. So therefore we've got dx dy is going to be the square root of x squared plus a squared. So I've got dx dy, all I've got to do is take the reciprocal of that and that gives me dy by dx. So therefore dy by dx is going to equal 1 then divided by the square root of x squared plus a squared. Now I did say that's not the only way that we could do it. We could do it by implicit differentiation. So we'll just border this off here and we'll just say as well or this other way that we can do it. Now if we're doing implicit differentiation then I just want to state here that I'm differentiating this function here with respect to x. So differentiating shine y with respect to x is going to be differentiating this with respect to y first of all which is going to be cosh y so we therefore got cosh y but then we need to multiply it with dy by dx. Implicit differentiation there. Now differentiating x over a with respect to x is just going to leave me with 1 over a. So we've got that this equals 1 divided by a. Now we know that what cosh y is, we've worked it out over here. So we therefore have the square root then of x squared plus a squared all divided by a multiplied with dy by dx equals 1 divided by a. And can you see that if we multiply both sides by a that will get cancelled, that will get cancelled. And so therefore rearranging this, dividing now both sides by the root of x squared plus a squared gives us dy by dx. dy by dx would equal 1 then divided by the square root of x squared plus a squared. So you've got two versions then that you could pick if you're ever asked to work out what dy by dx is. Okay so I hope it's been of some use to you and in the next video in this series we'll look at differentiating the inverse cosh of x over a which is a very similar method.